Hey guys, I work for a medical school, uh, Duke University School of Medicine, and we use this model, this brainstem model, for instruction. And if you can look at it, it's got a lot of detail. Um, basically, it's all in one piece. It's kind of got a rubber feel. They call this a rubber duck in class, just because of the feel and stuff like that. But uh, I have been trying to find a way to make more of these or buy more of these. Uh, simply because they don't make them anymore. Uh, there's lots of other models out there that are plastic and they can pull apart and, you know, and everything, but they're hundreds of dollars. So trying to find an all-inclusive model, one of the nice things about this one is it has a lot of detail of the inner workings of the brainstem in there. And this is a, a, you know, a brain, basically it's two times the, the size of, of the brainstem in your brain, well, it, may be, it might even be three times. The professor that teaches the brain course here really needs them for the students so that they can have something in their hand and sort of feel, you know, basically what it feels like to hold a brain stem and then, and then be able to identify all the different parts of their brain stem. So what I've been trying to do is find a way to, to replicate this somehow because it's not made anymore. I mean, this comp the, on the front out here it says Warner and Chilcott. That's a company that was uh, been bought out and went by several other companies. I've tried to find out if they made made them anymore, but essentially these were made. Essentially these were made in 1967 and sent out to students in a nice box that had all the. Uh, detailed information as to what each part of the uh, brainstem was. So I've been trying to find a, a way to replicate this somehow and I thought about going and getting it 3D scanned and then seeing if uh, that could have the detail, uh, possibly put it into a mold and then have it cast, uh, but I just don't know what, what there is to how I can get this made. Uh, it's uh, something that I've been dealing with almost a year now and uh, trying to figure out different ways to get it made. I really want to get it made. So I'm gonna to try to take this down to the Duke Tech Center and see what they can tell me about whether or not this thing can be made even. So they have a, a number of scanners there that I hope that uh, they'll be able to uh, help me uh, scan this um, and then uh, be able to uh, make a 3D print, possibly might be able to make a mold from it. Anyway, that's what I'm hoping to get done on this trip. Just the man I need to speak with. Uh oh. <laughs> this is not an alien. Huh? Is this an alien? Yeah, this is a this is a brain stem. And it, I think it's polyurethane. I think it's polyurethane. Yeah, it feels it feels urethane-y. Yeah. Yeah, we'll call it urethane. Chip was very helpful. I think I'll try to see if I can muster up the uh, funds in order to be able to do that kind of thing. We'll be able to get this thing made. Remember to like and subscribe. See ya.